Oh, what are you doing? I just walked up. He said hi. Yeah, hey, I just said hi. I'm just. Is this your girl? What are you doing out here with him? That's Every right. time I come around, you're with somebody. What the fuck? And nah, I was just. No, oh. man, take her. Y'all are with 20 year old men crying when you could be with 50 year old men robbing them. People really wonder why I'm out here advocating for men to be toxic. Next time you go back to a girl's crib and dig her down to unconsciousness, make sure you go on her purse and take $20 on the way out. Let's level the playing field a little bit. They out here robbing us, so let's rob them right back. Go ahead and follow me. Stay toxic. Sometimes guys will come up and instead of just being humble and like trying to connect with you, they feel like they have something to prove. Yes. So they go immediately to their accolades. Like, and for them, unfortunately, it's like how much they make, what they have, what their job. Is that what we're gonna do now? We're gonna pretend like it's a blight on women that men, when they come up to you, they talk about their accolades? It's probably because their accolades are what 90% of you guys judge them on. To sit there and act like you don't judge men based on how successful they are in life, you're just fucking lying. And I can see the comments now. I'm not like that. Okay, fine, whatever. Lie to yourself, lie to everybody else. It doesn't matter. This is just the world we live in. I like big butts. You like big bank accounts. Just accept it. You have two men, beautiful personalities, wonderful families. One's a nine on the hot scale. One's a five on the hot scale. But the guy who's a five is very successful in life. I guarantee you, you'll fuck the nine and marry the five. Change my mind. Mars thinks and bye. Okay, bye. She's a five, but she's good at math. I personally... It's gonna sound really cringy, but I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not too big into. It. Honestly, the more attractive you are, the less likely I'm gonna go for you. What? The more attractive you are, the less likely. Well, why? Because like sense. I noticed, there's a correlation between you how like a, intelligence, how attractive a girl is, and how how less interesting she is. Like maybe if a girl was raised being pretty her entire life, that means that she probably had everything handed to her. So she didn't have to like develop skills she to- get some girls to join in on those conversations. I, I, I probably, this is like some, they think this is some Andrew Tate shit. Red pill shit. I, yeah, I get, so I'm like Joe Rogan, I get canceled. So should the man love the woman more in the relationship or should a woman love the man more? Now, I don't know the answer to this, but what I do know, you know, is when a woman loves a man more than he loves her, that relationship stands a better chance of lasting a really long time. The reason being is that men are very capable of staying in a relationship with a woman that they're not madly in love with, but as long as she loves him and she's loyal to him and she's looking after the kids, they will stay put because they tend to be more loyal to the cause. Even if they might step out and do a nonsense, they will stay loyal to the cause because the relationship is not giving them enough stress to leave. Whereas for a woman who does not love a man as much as he loves her, what she will do is inevitably start pushing his boundaries. She will start testing him to see what the level of disrespect he will handle in order for him before he can leave. And when he loves her more than she loves him, he'll end up tolerating a lot more than he should and she will eventually lose respect for him and that relationship eventually will break down. So I believe they either need to be equal or the woman needs to love the man more in order for the relationship to look. Cassie. Cassie. This is a real genuine video of her posting this and I respect her for it because a lot of people don't speak upon the party fun girl era. Everybody goes, oh, well, it was me having fun. I'm living life. I should live life. What does living life entail? Do y'all understand what that means? Every fun girl comes to an end with a husband, hopefully. And when your husband, your prior husband finds out your fun girl era, involved you getting ran through, doing hardcore drugs, just simply not giving a shit about your body, or even emotionally. Like emotionally, if you are fucked up from all that era, the new guy walking into your life is not going, he's not gonna wanna deal with that. And that's what people don't understand. New, younger girls don't get that. And men don't know how to communicate that. They just pretty much screw you and then just move on. And you guys call them villains. They're villains because they don't communicate? Sure. Is it their job to? Not really. This is life. Is this a red flag in the bedroom? No. Um, well, no, because he's being I mean, safe. I mean, we support safe sex, but I don't like condom sex. Oh, like wait. Do y'all like condom sex? No. No? <laughs> I've never met more charismatic, sweet, intelligent, funny man in my life. And. Oh. oh. She wants to fuck the husband. And he's made her so happy in a way that I've never seen. And I know this because I've been around for every single boyfriend of her life. Why would you say, what, what is this? Why would you say this? <laughs> every heartbreak, literally. All different types. And you take the cake, you're 
incredible. I feel like I had gained a big brother. She's just dissing her. Isn't she kind of just dissing the bride? I've been around for all the boyfriends. Your husband is the best ever. I. She wants to fuck the husband. And she's just calling the bride a treesh. Cake, you're incredible. I feel like I had gained a big brother. It doesn't not sound like she just wants to fuck the husband. If a woman has sense. three kids, she should be looking for a man who's a lot older, who's already able to take care of her her and her three kids yeah. like you can't be talking to guys who are around our age like because they're gonna same say the same thing like i'm not yeah. taking on that bag if you're announcing our engagement on instagram and in the caption of the post you write we have our ups and downs oh, ring off back in the ocean engagement's called off we have our ups and downs like are you not embarrassed or the ones that are like you're a brat but i said oh. mm, because you would have me so fucked up you would have me so fucked up if in the caption of our engagement announcement you were saying we have our ups and downs. You're a brat, but I love you. I love you for who you are. You you keep me you keep me on my toes. Oh. <laughs> I'm a terror. Obviously, I am single, but you I would never. I you would literally never. You would catch me. You would catch me having an annulment. I would delete the post. I would return the ring. Uh, how much you weigh? How much do I weigh? Yeah. A hundred pounds. <laughs> really? Yeah, no. You, ma'am? How much, how much do you weigh? Why does it matter? For the content. I actually don't know. You gotta so. be two something to do something, baby, so. Well, hey, what, if, what, if I told, what if I told you I got a weight scale on my backpack? If it, you got a what? A weight scale. Oh, why? Why? I'm not doing anything. Would y'all be interested? No. I actually have a ruler in here. Pull your dick out and let's measure it. Yeah. I have a small just to get this. There's a 12 year age gap is what we're talking about. So if if I'm 30 years old and I'm talking to your son that's 12 years younger than me, what's the problem? Do you understand? Can I answer that? Go ahead. Um, my problem with that would be is that you have you have more experience than he is and I would want him to live his life a little bit more before dealing with someone that's seasoned. I have two children, yeah. two sons. I have a son as well. So I <clears> mean, <throat> I think even when I think about Jay-Z and Beyonce, whether you're talking about me or Jay-Z, mm -hmm. what's the difference? I wouldn't encourage my son to date someone that's 12, years, 12 right. years younger than him either. So immediately, like the conversation went to the comparison. I hold both parties accountable. Right. Right. And I, would, I wouldn't like either of that, any situation like that. Yeah, that's fair. Women in their 30s nowadays. Best season of my life.